started Beach of Gold as a junior startup exploration company with really um, no, no assets, no gold production. Beach of Gold is a Vancouver-based company. We have two gold mines in production in Nicaragua, one in the Philippines. We have one in Namibia, in Southern Africa, and our largest mine, the Fakola mine, which just came into production late last year, very successfully, and that's in Mali in, uh, in West Africa. You can't run gold mines from Vancouver, and I think we realized that very, very early in our, in our careers. The key is the people, and the ability to take that corporate culture that we have and take it around the world, based on fairness, respect, transparency, and, and accountability. Mali sits in the middle of West Africa. It has seven borders. It's a big country. We're looking at 1.2 million square kilometers and about 17.4 million inhabitants. Mali has a long, known history of gold because Mali used to be an empire with the King Mansa Musa back in the 1300s. B2Gold is coming to Mali today as the newest uh, kid on the block. The Fikula project is actually situated on the west side of Mali, within the Bereavian Belt, which is like one of the hosting regions for like a lot of gold deposits. So if you're looking at that region, you have different world-class mines. Fikula coming aboard, will bring about 400,000 ounces, which will represent about 25% of the gold production in Mali and will actually help the government of Mali and Mali in general. One of the things that maybe we do a little bit different is that we have our own construction team. Because this group has been with us for so long, they treat it like their own project. The entire project took 30 months from June of 2015 through December of 2017. So in 2016, we made the corporate decision to expand the project from 4 million tons per annum, which is what the feasibility was, to 5 million tons per annum. Under the original 4 million ton per annum concept, we were gonna produce 276,000 ounces per year on average over the 12 and a half year life of mine. With the new 5 million tons per annum throughput, we're able to produce, on average, 345,000 ounces per annum over the life of mine. The exploration area, in particular the area to the north of the existing pit, that's which we're calling the Fakola Extension, we see exceptional opportunity. We've already continued to expand upon the existing resource and find additional mineralization along strike. We look for and hire our general manager very early on in the process, the person that's actually gonna commission and operate the project. So in October of 2016, we hired Randy Riker. My role in the project was to uh, direct the pit, build an operations team, and prepare for operations so that when the mill started up, the operations were all ready to go. The Earthworks construction team was able to get ahead of plan. A lot of that was due to the ability to use some of the waste overlying the pit for construction materials. By the time the mill started up in September of 2017, the operations team had already been able to stockpile 1.2 million tons of ore. And then by the end of the year, we were able to stockpile over 3.4 million tons of ore. That allowed the good high-grade stockpiles to be in place, and we were able to run through the plant a higher grade than we had planned. That allowed us to produce over 111,000 ounces of gold in 2017. The milling circuit at Fakola is, is a standard gold milling circuit. It starts with a primary gyratory crusher, followed by sag and ball mills, along with pebble crushers. The leach circuit has six tanks. That gives a, a residence time for the ore of about 24 hours. There's also a carbon and column circuit and that provides additional recovery of gold. The design capacity and throughput of the plant is five million tons per annum. Commissioning of the mills started on September 15, 2017 and already by September 24th, 
we were able to start feeding ore through the plant. And then by October 7th, we had our first gold pour. Then within 60 days, we ramped up to commercial production. So basically on November 30th, 2017, we reached commercial production. This is three months ahead of the original schedule and more than a month ahead of the revised schedule based on the new feasibility. The reason we were ahead of schedule certainly goes back to the accountability. The fact is that the, the construction team that had been together for 20 years took responsibility for their part of the project and every person knew what the other person was to take responsibility for. Our strategy as a responsible mining company fundamentally starts with the principles of fairness, respect, transparency. We go around the world and we try to treat everyone the way we would like to be treated. We've been very successful in going to countries and become part of an inclusive story to work with the local governments and people to build successful gold mines so that everyone benefits from it. In the past, mining was quite secretive, arrogant. The keys now to responsible mining are the win-win attitude where you go to countries and you ensure that you, for example, train local people. And uh, safety is a huge part of our business. We have one of the best safety records in the, in the world in the mining industry. Also a big part of that these days, uh, and should be and is, environment responsibility. Mining industry is not what it was in the past in terms of the reckless disregard for the environmental consequences of mining. Mining can be a a source of economic benefit in countries around the world, a source of good employment and jobs for many people, and we contribute socially in terms of health, education, for them to create successful businesses that will outlive the life of the mine.